Welcome to Design Santa Barbara. Today we have a new series we are going to introduce. World Heritage Sites. Today we are at Stonehenge. This is a prehistoric site and we are going to learn more about its incredible history. Stonehenge is a prehistoric monument on Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, England, two miles west of Amesbury. It consists of an outer ring of vertical sarsen standing stones, each around 13 feet high and 7 feet wide. Each stone weighs around 25 tons and are topped by connecting horizontal lintel stones. Inside is a ring of smaller blue stones. Inside these are freestanding trilatons, two bulkier vertical sarsens joined by one lintel. The whole monument, now ruinous, is aligned toward the sunrise on the summer solstice. The stones are set within earthworks in the middle of the densest complex of Neolithic and Bronze Age monuments in England, including several hundred burial mounds. Archaeologists believe the Stonehenge was constructed from 3000 BC to 2000 BC. The surrounding circular earth bank and ditch which constitute the earliest phase of the monument have been dated to about 3100 BC. One of the most famous landmarks in the United Kingdom, Stonehenge is regarded as British cultural icon. It has been a registered historic site since the late 1800s. The site and its surroundings were added to UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites in 1986. Stonehenge is owned by the British Crown and managed by English Heritage. The surrounding land is owned by the National Trust. In 2019, over 1.6 million people visited Stonehenge. Stonehenge was constructed by a culture that left no writing records. Many aspects of Stonehenge, such as how it was built and for what purposes it was used, remain subject to debate. A number of myths surround the stones. The site is aligned to the sunset of the winter solstice and the opposing sunrise of the summer solstice. The heel stone lies northeast of the Sarsen Circle, beside the end portion of the Stonehenge Avenue. It is a rough stone 16 feet above ground, leaning inwards toward the Stone Circle. It has been known by many names in the past, including Friars Hill and Sunstone. At the summer solstice, an observer standing within the stone circle, looking northeast through the entrance, would see the sun rise in the approximate direction of the hillstone, and the sun has often been photographed over it. Part of Britain's iconic Arthurian legend states that King Arthur's father, Uther Pendragon, aided by Merlin's magic, brought the stones from Ireland to England. From the 1500s onward, the mystery of Stonehenge inspired artists to paint the location. This allowed for a somewhat accurate documentation of the stone's collapse through the centuries. With the invention of photography, the stones entered British lore even more. The land on which they stood changed hands several times throughout the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries. In 1915, they were purchased for £6,000 and three years later, the owner gifted them to the crown. In the 1920s, the first modern effort to restore Stonehenge was undertaken. During the 20th century, Stonehenge became a site of great travel interest. For a fee, visitors could walk through the stones and some even climb them. This led to considerable deterioration and in the late 1970s, they were roped off. After a long legal battle, modern druids were able to argue that Stonehenge is in fact a church and therefore access cannot be restricted. Now, upwards of 10,000 people come to the stones to witness the solstice and equinox every year. Stonehenge is also commonly referenced in popular culture. From Thomas Hardy's classic novel, Test of the Duoberville, to the hit modern book series, and television show Outlander. These ancient stones excite the minds of millions around the globe. What may attract people most to a Stonehenge is the mystery behind them. After centuries of study, we still don't know its true purpose and new information is discovered every day. 
in January of 2022, ancient tools dating back over 10,000 years were found at the site. One can only imagine what will be discovered in the future. I hope you enjoyed this visit to Stonehenge. Again, a World Heritage Site and an important one at that.